I am constantly worried that someone close to me would get into a scam without realizing, like my mother or my father. We don't have very hard uh, privacy laws in Egypt, and uh, this means that uh, if you called the realtor at one time uh, and you gave them, or they have your phone number, then this phone number will be sold to another realtor and then another company. And this opens up like a lot of opportunities for scammers. They have basically a larger pool of people that they can scam. I think this one time, my father-in-law actually got a, uh, a call from a person who claimed to work at the bank where he has his, uh, his accounts. And uh, uh, he tried to get his credit card information, uh, claiming that it needs to be renewed. But he basically suspected the caller. And uh, later on, when he used Truecaller, he found that it was a scam. Back in Egypt, it's kind of hard to get the older generations to adopt new technology. And uh, part of that was uh, Truecaller, because essentially when you tell someone that there's an app that they can use to identify someone who's trying to call them, uh, they don't usually believe you and they just start asking where do they get the information from and all of that. But once they see it in action, they, they're actually starting to, to use it more.